The Apple Mac Mini has always been one of the most fascinating products in Apple's lineup. Small, compact, and yet surprisingly powerful. It has become the perfect entry point for anyone who wants to experience macOS without spending thousands of dollars on a MacBook Pro or a Mac Studio. And over the years, it has built up a loyal following, not just among casual users, but also among developers, creative professionals, and even people who simply want a compact home computer that fits anywhere. And now all eyes are on the next big update, the upcoming M5 Mac Mini, with rumors, leaks, and insider reports flying around suggesting that this tiny machine might be about to get some very big upgrades. So let's dive into everything we know, everything we've heard, and everything we can expect from the next generation of the Mac Mini. Because when you look at the history of the Mac Mini, you notice a pattern. Apple doesn't really like to change its design very often. Instead, it keeps the boxy compact look and focuses more on what's inside. Which was especially true during the Intel years where the design stayed the same, but the internal performance kept changing. And the real revolution came when Apple switched to Apple Silicon with the M1 chip, a change that transformed the Mac Mini from a decent entry-level desktop into one of the most powerful small form factor computers in the world. Suddenly this little box could handle tasks that even big bulky desktops struggled with, all at a fraction of the cost, and since then we've seen the M2 and M4 versions, both sticking to the same design but improving performance. Which brings us to right now with everyone asking what the M5 version will bring. And leaks are suggesting that Apple has already started testing prototypes of the Mac Mini with the new M5 chip and even an M5 Pro version. With codenames J873G for the base version and J873s for the Pro version lining up perfectly with Apple's history of internal testing, which makes it pretty believable and points to not just one but two different M5 Mac Minis, one for everyday users and another for professionals who want serious performance without paying Mac Studio prices. And so the big question becomes what makes the M5 chip special? And according to reports, it's being built on TSMC's next generation 3 nanometer process, which means more performance, more efficiency, and less heat, all of which are critical in a device as small as the Mac Mini with rumors suggesting up to 40% better performance compared to the M4, especially in GPU performance and AI workloads. And that's not just a small bump. That's the kind of leap that could make the Mac Mini an actual powerhouse for things like video editing, 3D rendering, and even AI-driven workflows, all while still fitting in the palm of your hand. And while people are asking whether Apple will redesign the Mac Mini, most analysts agree the design will probably stay the same because Apple just refreshed it with the M4, making it more compact and refining the cooling system. And Apple tends to keep designs for several years once they're refined. So the M5 Mac Mini will likely look familiar. Though we could see smaller tweaks like port arrangements, subtle cooling improvements, or minor changes in materials. And then comes the launch timing, which is another mystery. With some reports pointing to late 2025, probably in October, which is Apple's usual time frame for Mac announcements, while others suggest it might slip into early 2026 because of production schedules and chip supply issues. And either way, it means if you're considering buying a Mac Mini today, you don't have to panic because the M4 is still very powerful, and the M5 isn't likely to drop right away. But at the same time, if you can wait until the end of 2025, you might be rewarded with a huge performance boost. And then there's pricing, which is another unknown, because the Mac Mini has always been Apple's most affordable Mac, which is a huge part of its appeal. And right now, the entry-level version is priced very competitively. But with the new chip, better efficiency, and performance upgrades, there's always a chance Apple might raise the price slightly. Especially for the M5 Pro version, which could get closer to Mac Studio territory. Though for professionals who want workstation-level performance in a tiny box, even a higher price might still feel like a bargain. And alongside that, we also hear rumors of upgraded memory and storage, where the base storage could finally move up to 512 gigabytes instead of 256 and RAM options might expand as well, which would be great for power users who often feel limited by base configurations. And on the graphics side, more GPU cores are expected, which might make gaming on the Mac Mini slightly more realistic than before. Though Apple still has a long way to go compared to Windows gaming, but at least stronger GPUs and better optimization could push things in the right direction. And while the competition in the mini PC space is tougher than ever with Intel, Asus, and others putting out powerful small desktops, Apple's real strength has always been macOS and the seamless integration with the iPhone, iPad, and the rest of the ecosystem which no competitor can fully replicate. So Apple just needs to make sure the M5 Mac Mini not only keeps up but stands out, 
And then we come to the software side, because the M5 Mac Mini will most likely ship with Mac OS 26, or even Mac OS 27 depending on its release date, and early leaks suggest these versions of Mac OS will feature deeper AI integration and developer tools that fully take advantage of the new hardware. Meaning the M5 Mac Mini won't just be about better specs, but also about unlocking software features that make it feel like a next-gen device. Which is classic Apple, combining hardware and software in a way that competitors struggle to match. And so what does this mean for you? Well, if you're a casual user who just wants a reliable desktop for browsing, streaming, and light productivity, the M4 Mini is already more than enough, and you could buy it today and be set for years. But if you're a power user, a creative professional, or someone who pushes their machine with AI, video editing, development, or heavy multitasking, then the M5 Mac Mini might be worth waiting for especially the Pro version, which could deliver workstation performance in a palm-sized box. And of course, all of this is still speculation, because Apple is secretive. And while leaks can be accurate, nothing is guaranteed until Apple makes it official. But what we can say for sure is that the Mac Mini is here to stay, and the M5 generation could be one of the biggest leaps forward yet, whether it launches in late 2025 or early 2026. The anticipation is building, and it's safe to say the M5 Mac Mini is shaping up to be one of the most exciting Macs on the horizon. So the question now is, are you planning to upgrade when it arrives, or are you sticking with your current setup? Let us know your thoughts, because the hype is only going to grow as we get closer to launch, and one thing is certain. The next Mac Mini is coming, and it might just be the most powerful small computer Apple has ever built. And in conclusion, the story of the Mac Mini has always been about surprising power inside a small footprint. And if the rumors are true, the M5 generation will continue that tradition with even greater performance, smarter efficiency, deeper AI integration, and more flexibility for professionals and casual users alike. It may not look radically different on the outside, but what matters most is what it can do on the inside. And that's where Apple is expected to make the biggest leap. So whether you're a developer searching for raw performance, a creative pro editing massive projects, or simply a Mac enthusiast who loves Apple's ecosystem, the M5 Mac Mini promises to deliver a balance of speed, reliability, and compact design that no other mini desktop can match. And that is why this little machine might once again prove that big things really do come in small packages. At the end of the day, the M5 Mac Mini is more than just another computer update. It represents Apple's vision of putting cutting-edge technology into the most compact form possible, giving people the power of a professional machine without the size or price of a full workstation. And as we wait for Apple's official reveal, the excitement is only going to grow. So stay tuned. Because the future of the Mac Mini looks brighter and more powerful than ever. So as we look ahead, one thing is clear. The M5 Mac Mini could change the game once again. Proving that sometimes the smallest machines deliver the biggest surprises. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more updates, and until next time, keep imagining the future of tech with us.